Hello, and thank you for joining us today for the tutorial video on how to install and use your Ingenico ICT terminal. These are the things that should have been included in the box with your terminal. Your power cable, which is a two-part cable, which plugs into your magic box, which plugs into your credit card terminal. You may have received a pin pad with your terminal. If that's the case, this is how you'll install it. First, you'll want to unplug the power from your terminal. Once the power is unplugged from your terminal, you'll want to turn it over, and then you'll have two notches where you can place your fingernails. You'll want to pull those up and away from the terminal. This will expose the inside of the terminal. And this is where you'll plug in your pin pad. So on the other end of the pin pad cable, it is a USB port. So you'll need to slide that in right into there and that's how it'll look when it's installed. Now at the top of the machine, you'll see these rubber pieces right here. At this point, you'll want to cut off one of these rubber pieces here. Because they put the space in there for the cable to run through. At this point, you're done installing your pin pad. So you can put your back back onto it close the lid securely, and then you can plug in your power. To install either your phone line or your ethernet cable, you'll want to plug them in on the ETH or the telephone in slot. Today we'll be using ethernet. To load the paper into your Ingenico terminal, you want to lift up the slot at the back of it, pull it away, and it will open up. At this point, you'll want to make sure the loose end of the roll is coming out from the bottom of it. Drop it into your terminal. Take an inch or so off the roll. Close the lid. And tear off the extra. If you'd like to feed the roll up a little bit, you can hold down the yellow key. And it'll feed it up for you. At this point, you're ready to start running sales. This screen is the screensaver for your credit card terminal. It'll display after a couple of minutes of inactivity, just to make sure that your screen doesn't get any burn in. You can press enter to get past it though. And that'll take you into your main menu. From the screen, you'll be able to see all the basic functionality of the terminal. One is sale, two is return, three is reversal. The number one for sale is what we'll be starting with today. So we're gonna press the number one and it'll ask credit, debit, or EBT. And you wanna select whichever one is appropriate. Credit, of course, is a normal credit. Debit is for pin-based debit. And EBT is for electronic benefits transfers. Today, we'll be doing credit. It may ask for a PO number, which is a purchase order number. This is a number that your customer will have. If not, though, feel free to use the last four of the card. You just need to type in something. And then we'll ask for the sale amount. Today, we're going to be running this card for a dollar. And then it will say, pass terminal to customer. This is because this terminal is set up to use the new chip cards. And you're not supposed to be touching those cards anymore. So what you'll do is you'll pass the terminal to the customer and have them press the green key. And then it will say, swipe, insert, tap, or key. At this point, you can swipe the card like you would normally. If it's a chip card, you'll want to slide it into the slot at the bottom of the credit card machine or you can type in the card number. You can also take Apple Pay or Google Wallet, and you'll do that by tapping their phone to the top of the screen, just right here, and that will tell you whether it approved or declined. Today, we're gonna to be using a chip card. Notice how it says, do not remove card. That's letting you know you do not wanna remove the card from the terminal, otherwise the transaction will cancel. At this point, it will say to pass the terminal to the merchant. So the customer will just hand the terminal back over to you. Press enter to get past it. It will connect, and it'll tell you if it approved or declined. And then you can remove the card. And then it'll print out your receipt. One for you and one for your customer.